Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to be in Design Space and I'm going to open up a new document and I'm going to show you how to do the curved text feature in Design Space. So first what you want to do, you just want to type some text like I'm doing here. And up here at the top you'll see this curve icon. And if you click that, if you drag the dot to the right or to the left, then that is how you actually curve your text. So to the left, the text will curve up. And if you go to the right, the text will curve down. Also, as you can see, if you drag this to the left, your number there in the box is going to change. And that's just the value of the curve. Right there is the value. So you can actually drag this all the way to the left to make a complete circle or all the way to the right will also make a complete circle too. And that can be very handy as I will show you later in some features that you can do with this. Once you have the curved feature, you can change your font size, make your font size smaller, then you will have a smaller radius on your circle. If you increase your font size, the radius of your circle is going to be larger, as you'll see here. You can also increase your letter spacing while you're in your curved text feature you can rotate your text when you're in your curved text feature as long as you don't ungroup your letters you can pretty much do anything you can you kid with regular text you can add text in your text box after you curve or you can subtract text. And as you can see, if you add text, your, your circle is going to be larger, um, like here. If I add some text, then my circle size is going to increase the more text that I add. So the longer line of text, the, the larger your circle is going to be. OK, so that's just one line of text. I'm going to be adding several different lines of text. So if you have a text box, I'm going to show you how you can use your curve feature with a text box. If you have lines of text in one box, you can see up here there's no curve feature. You cannot curve um, multiple lines of text together. So what you have to do is go up here to the top of your screen to advanced. And it has a drop down menu and you will see ungroup to lines. If you ungroup two lines and then click on your text box, it has ungrouped to separate individual lines of text. So once you ungroup to those individual lines of text, then you can use your curve feature. So I'm just going to curve my first line of text. And the value in the box, the number that's on the right, okay, so this number right here, I'm just kind of keeping a mental note of that because I want to curve my next line. Um, to the same curve. So if I click in the curve box and I drag my cursor to a value that is as close as possible to the value as the top line, then it will create the same curve. So whenever you're doing this, if you want to create the same curve on multiple lines of text, just make sure you note the value that is in your box, whether it be a positive number or a negative number. And the positive number is to the right if you drag your cursor to the right and you will get a negative number if you drag it to the left so I'm just creating the same curve upon multiple lines of text just using the same value that is in the box okay so that is how you curve multiple lines of text okay so the next feature I'm going to show you is how to edit curved text. So as you can see, some of my letters are kind of spaced further apart than um, I would like them to be. So I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to show you what happens when you edit your text before curving. Um, if I go in here and I want to edit the spacing between my letters and I ungroup this before I curve it, I can edit the space no problem. It will let me edit all of my letters the way that I want them. So I'm just going to move this over here and this here. So I'll have all my letters perfectly aligned 
but once I go and regroup these together, then I have no curve feature up here at the top box, as you'll see. So once you ungroup a set of letters or words, edit them and regroup them back together, you cannot use the curve feature. That, that is one thing Cricut has not done. They have not allowed for you to do that. So I'm going to show you how you can edit your text using the curve feature. So I'm going to retype the text here. And I'll delete this one. Okay, so say you want to use curved text on a round sign, which is a video that is upcoming in a couple days. You'll see I do a monogram sign. So I'm going to drag my text over here and I'm going to bring it to the front. So I want to curve this text around this round monogram sign. I'm going to first go into my curve feature. So I'm going to curve my text to roughly the shape of my sign. And then I'm just going to drag it down to fit the bottom edge here so I can kind of adjust by sight. And then I'll adjust my curve to the left or right to kind of fit that bottom curve of my circle here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in and change the, the letter spacing. And that's going to bring all of my letters closer together. So you want to do that first, adjust your letter spacing to bring your letters as close as possible um, to the way you want them. Then I'm going to click on this and just ungroup. Go ahead and ungroup at this point all of my letters. And then I'm just going to slowly drag them down. And a rule of thumb that I kind of follow is to drag them down towards the center of the circle or arc. So I'm going to drag them down to the center of the circle. And you can also rotate each letter to kind of fit. And another rule of thumb that I follow is to align the letters perpendicular to the tangent on the circle. So if you drew a tangent line anywhere on this circle, I make my letters perpendicular to that point, just like that. So that's a rule of thumb I follow to get my text looking good on a curve. So you just want to go ahead and rotate all of your letters and all of your text. And once you have everything the way you like it, then you can go back and group all of your letters together. And that is how I edit all of my text on a curve. Okay, so another feature that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go into my text box and I'm going to create a line of little dots and I'm just using the period um, and it, according to what font you're using your periods may be square or they may be round. So I'm going to go up here and choose a round dot and as you can see I just have a long line of dots and I'm going to show you a neat trick you can do to create borders with these dots. So once you have a text of dots along your drawing here, you can go up to the curve feature and you can adjust your curve all the way to the left or all the way to the right and it will create a perfect round line of dots. And I am using this actually now on a project that I'm doing. I will show you here again this circle that I'm going to be using for the base of a monogram sign. So I'll change the color just to sh let it show a little bit better what I'm doing. So I will drag this curved line of dots. I'll bring it to the front. So now you can create a, a border around round objects um, that you may be creating. And I'll do later in another video um, how you can split these dots into two separate images to cut them out on a Cricut. A Cricut machine will only cut out a certain um, width. So I'll show you in another video coming up soon how you can separate these into two separate images. Okay, so now I'm going to show you um, some curved text that you can do. And I'm gonna just going to add some names here. Again, this is how I'm going to be doing a monogram sign. So I've got a bunch of names that I want to curve around the top of this sign. 
So I'm going to go ahead and curve these closely to the shape of the sign that I'm doing. And again, after you curve your text, you can still go back in here and change your size of your font. Um, it's just going to change the size of your circle, so just be aware of that. And then I'll adjust the curve again to match this row of dots that I created. And now this is an extra thing that I may do in another video too. I'm going to go add some middle dots. I have a font um, and it's called Sweet Buttermilk, I believe. I'll, I'll put it down in the description box. But it, it comes with an actual middle dot and it's so handy um, to use. And you can use these middle dots, especially if you're doing names like this for monograms or, or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and select that dot out of that specific font. And I'm just going to add it in here between my names. So you can add text very easily. You can add um, features. Pretty much do anything you want to do with curved text the same as regular text. Okay, so now I have all the names along the top of my sign. I want to create another box along the bottom of my sign that says established 2003 or so. So I'm going to duplicate what I just created. And then I'm going to take the curve and I'm going to note the number on the right, right here. And I'm going to move it to the left as close to the negative number, the negative same number as I can get. And that should bring me very close to the same curve in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go get as close as I can and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom and I'm going to adjust it just a little bit to get just a little bit closer and there you go. Then I'm going to go back in here and I'm just going to double click on the text I created before and then I can just delete, go back and delete everything and then re-add new text. So established 2008, let's say. And it's still on the same curve. So that makes it a very handy tool if you're creating um, items like this for t-shirts or signs or whatever you may be doing. Okay, so the last feature that I'm going to show you, I'm just going to go in here and type some regular text again. So I'm going to go ahead and curve my text just to a random curve. And as you can see, this little lock box here on the left, if you drag your text in and out, it proportionally keeps everything together. If you unclick that box and drag down or out, then your text changes. Um, I'm going to move my text up a bit. And as you can see, I have kind of flattened it. The effect it did on this was kind of flatten my text. And I'll show you how you can use this on images like um, the top of cylinders or cylindrical object. You can see how you can kind of manipulate your text to um, fit certain objects. So there's my cylinder, and my curved text now looks like it fits along the top of this cylinder. Um, you can also manipulate your text and drag it down, um, and it gives it a completely different look. You can drag it down or drag it out to fit um, other cylindrical shapes. Like if I want it to fit the side or cylindrical object, then I can manipulate it in and out to make it look the way that I want to. And I'm just going to adjust my curve. So as long as you don't ungroup all of these letters, you can pretty much play around and do whatever you want to with curved text. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some tips and found it helpful. I will see you guys in another couple days with a new video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.